Hey everyone, today we're going to paint some totem birds and a sunflower. I started by sketching it on to my canvas and my color palette is cad red, cad yellow, ultramarine blue, titanium white, mars black, burnt sienna, yellow ochre, and teal and a bright green and sap green. I started off painting the first layer on the sunflower with the yellow ochre and I'm just using a flat or a bright. You could use a detail round, whichever brush you prefer that you are comfortable with. Now the center of the flower, the first layer is going to be burnt sienna with a very small amount of Mars black mixed together to make it darker. Rotate your canvas around to where it's comfortable that you can get nice smooth lines. The stem I'm painting in with sap green and I'm going to come back in with some cad yellow to give it some highlights and dimension. I'm using a quarter inch angle brush and doing the same thing on the leaves with the sap green but mixing a little of the bright green in to like give one half of the leaf a just a slightly different tone. This is like a, a redo of this video editing because the original, I tried to do it in real time, but I had some people saying they could not hear me. So I'm doing the voiceover, but I'm not going to spend an hour and a half watching the video to do the voiceover. So it is definitely sped up. Now I just blended in some of the cad yellow into that stem. On this first bird, I'm painting him with teal but in the end the day after I recorded this and, and painted it I changed this bird to red it, it just seemed out of place to me with the other colors so I did change him to red so you can paint him teal and leave him teal or you could just paint him in red I tried blending in some yellow and white in with the bird to give him different tones. His beak, I'm painting orange, um, shading the bottom of it with red and highlighting the top half of it with cad yellow. Still using my angle brush. The center bird, I used some cad yellow and my titanium white to make a pink. And again, you can paint your birds any color that you want. And I'm still using my little angle brush. It's not great for filling in large areas, but it is very nice for getting straight lines. Blending in a little white and a little of the cad yellow, which kind of gives him her some orangey looking color to them.
the beak, I used the dark brown black mix that we made for the center of the sunflower. This little guy is orange and I will blend in some white on the belly and some yellow through the tail to brighten her up. And the beak, I do teal, but again, when I change the bird on the bottom to red, I also change the color of the beak to red. using Mars Black to make their eyes. Now I'm going over portions of the petals, more towards the tips, with a yellow and titanium white mix. Um, the flower we're actually going to go around several times. We're going to use some cad orange, we're going to use some cad red, and then we're going to go back over the entire petal with just straight cad yellow to really brighten her up and make her pop. That was the orange going through the center and now along the base of it closest to the the round pollen center is where I'm placing the red. This is the straight cad yellow. See the difference how it's just making it really pop in brightness. This is where I notice there's just something I really don't care for about this bird before I realize that it's the color. So I'm trying to give him a wing and now he's getting some freckles. You know, just trying to, something wasn't right in my mind but I couldn't put my finger on it. Until of course the next day and he is red. Definitely red. But if you like this version, I'm put um, white freckles and I'm highlighting the beak here, putting the red in on the bottom for the shadows and the yellow on the top portion for the highlights. Adding some yellow onto the pink bird for some shading. Added a little titanium white to that dark brown mixture to do the highlight portion of the beak. Darkened it a little bit because I thought it was too light.
adding highlights to that beak that tomorrow becomes red. Putting the sparkle in the bird's eyes with titanium white. Okay, the background is ultramarine blue and titanium white, and I want it to kind of be very painterly choppy, and I'm letting it blend on the canvas. It's blended a little in my brush, but it's still like hat one side is white, one side is blue. Do, do between the flower petals, I'm using a angle brush and mainly because I can get a good line with it. You know, I feel more confident at going along the edges. So paint this all the way to about one third from the bottom and that's where your grass area is going to be. Now this being the, the remake of this um, tutorial into a time lapse because the real-time version um, I was told you couldn't hear me. I'm not going to take that video down. I'm going to leave that up for people who like it taken at a slower pace to visually see what's happening step by step. So if you like that, that video is still there. Now I'm drawing my lines there so I know how far I want to come down with my blue. switch to a smaller brush to get in these tighter areas and I'm trying to be very careful not to paint over my bird. For the green I'm using the sap green and cad yellow and same as kind of like the sky there trying to let it blend itself on the canvas trying to have it lighter towards the horizon line and darker towards the bottom of the canvas. Just filling it all in and then we'll go back later and add blades of grass.
using a stencil brush or an old frayed stiff bristled brush tap in plain burnt sienna onto the dark brown area then you're going to tap in some yellow ochre and tap in a little bit of green and then your cad yellow and white mixture just a little bit of that one drawing on the legs using the dark brown black mixture just a straight line down the leg closest to you goes into the bird a little the one furthest away start at the edge of the bird that'll help with dimension and then a little dot for knees because they're stretching the blades of grass I'm using my small angle brush and I'm just starting at the bottom and pulling up for the blade of grass changing my direction of the stroke and the length of the stroke just filling it in making it look nice and grassy blending the sap green and the yellows together and you might even want to put a little of your yellow white mixture in with the green too so that you have some you know some light spots in it Adding highlights with my yellow-white mixture down the side of the stem, then taking straight sap green and trying to blend it smooth, you know, get rid of the harsh edge. Yellow-white on the top half, yellow-green on the bottom half of the leaf, and just streaking it in. So I decided the birds didn't pop enough, especially that teal bird that is now red. I can't say that enough times. He just, between the blue background and the green grass, he just kind of like blended into the picture. But anyhow, I took a liner brush and I used my Mars black to give it some outline in black. Not the entire bird, just some areas little bits and pieces of each bird just to help them pop out a little bit using a nice thin line on the stem and flowers as well I did one side of the stem one part of the leaf one side I move up to the flower petals and I choose one side and I stay with that one side of the petal the whole way around the flower. And we are almost finished. I'm fixing my little boo-boo I made up there with the black. It's a nice thing about acrylics, when they dry you can paint over top of them. Signing it. Noticing, oh no, I must have stuck my hand in some dark paint and got it in my sky, so I'm fixing it. Looks like I did that in several areas. I'm showing you there how much paint I wasted. Just put a little bit out at a time. You can always add more. Thank you so much for watching, have fun painting, and we'll see you next time.